Now when we work with um, certain places and certain locations on a map, there's two kinds of uh, references we can use. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is the alphanumeric reference. Alphanumeric. Now alphanumeric says that it refers to something using characters both from the alphabet, alpha, in other words, letters, as well as numbers. So, first of all, we're going to have uh, one or two letters, and then we are going to have one or two numbers. Now, I'm zooming in at the top of the map um, on purpose, because this is where you find all the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, up to ten. Now, this um, column here will show you all the blocks in the first column and then we've got all the blocks in the second column third column and so forth and then when we look at the left hand side of the map we will find that these row a row b c d e f all the way down to k your teacher might ask you to give the alphanumeric reference for the golf course now let's zoom in on the golf course and as we can see here um, it is found in this block right here now the golf course overlaps with some of the other blocks but let's use the one that we mostly see the golf course or where the largest part of the golf course is and we will find that it is now before we get to the answer what does it say it's an alpha numeric reference alpha meaning the letter comes first and then the number so let's look there's the golf course it is in row A and the it is in column Eight. So we're going to say it's A8. Right, let's do another example. Your teacher might ask you to find a place called Derde Drif. Now Derde Drif can be seen right there. Okay, so there's a, there's a dot over here. So firstly we need to f um, find the the row the letter that says which row it is and we'll see that it's in row E and now we need to find the number we go to the top of the map and there we see it's in column number 4 so E4 would be the right answer so that was the alphanumeric reference in a nutshell now we're going to look at the coordinates now if you look at the map over here you'll see here we've got the Greenwich line and there is the equator now your teacher might say to you okay there is a place and the place is right here and your teacher might ask you to give the coordinates for this specific place now firstly you have to ask yourself is it north or south of the equator and here we see it is definitely north of the equator so you might go and write the north okay now the next thing you want to ask yourself is it east or west of the Greenwich line then you look at the Greenwich line and you'll find that it is definitely on the eastern side of the Greenwich line then leave a bit of a space open and write east okay the next step would be to go and say or to go and find out how many degrees north of the equator now all these lines that you see running horizontally on this map are called lines of latitude okay so it will give you the reading for the latitude for that certain place and that is what you are always going to give first you never say the line of longitude first that runs through through that specific place you are always going to give the line of latitude first now let's see how many degrees north here is north everything on this line is north now some of the children in my class might ask me sir but why if we look at this one for example it says 30 degrees but it's written there on the eastern side of the map so obviously it looks like it's 30 degrees east but please don't make that mistake the reason why they write the 30 on the side is simply to say that everything on this line is 30 degrees north and they don't want to write it in the middle of the map you could have written 30 degrees all over this line from this side to that side to indicate that everything on this line 
is 30 degrees north. But of course you're not going to do that. That would be silly. Then you would have numbers all over the place. So, if we go from north up to this place, we will find that it is definitely 30 degrees north because it sits exactly on this line. So, then what you must please remember is you are going to put a comma here. And now we need to find how far east is this place. So, let's take a look. Here is north. There is 20. And there is 40. And now we see that it's more or less halfway in between 20 and 40 degrees east. So obviously it's going to be 30 because 30 is exactly halfway in between. So it's 30 degrees north and 30 degrees east. As simple as that. Now let's do another example. Let's say there's a certain place and it's right there. And you must give the coordinates for this place. Now what did I say? What is the first step again? First step is to see is it north or south of the equator. Remember that. And we can definitely see this is the equator. It's definitely north of the equator. Then we leave a space open and now we want to find out is it east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. And then we will see that it's definitely on the western side. We leave some space open and we write west. Now let's go to the next step we are we obviously we can see that it's at north this is north the equator is north then we have 30 degrees north 60 degrees north and halfway in between would definitely be 45 degrees north all right now we're going to go to this one here and we want to find out how far west of the um, Greenwich line and so we're going to take it from here north 20 40 60 and so it's halfway in between 40 and 60, which would give us 50. 50 degrees west. Perfect. Please remember once again, when we talk about east or west, on the western side, this 60 year, it could be confusing. It looks like it's written on the northern side of the, it is written on the northern side of the map. But don't get confused. The reason why it's written here is because, like I said, you don't want to write 60 all over the map from top to bottom on this line in order to indicate that everything on this line is 60 degrees east of the Greenwich line. So that is why they write it there on the northern side. But please don't get confused. Let's do another example just to make sure everybody understands. Let's say there's a place right here on this line. And once again your teacher is asking to, to give you the coordinates of this specific place. Now, first question, is it north or south? It's definitely south. Second question, is it east or west? It's definitely west. We leave a space open and we write west. I forgot to put the comma there. Now we want to, um, now that we know that it's south and it's west, now we can take a further step and we can say, okay, how far south? Once again, we start at north and we go 30, 60. It's on exactly 60 degrees south. And how far is it to the west? Here's north, there's 20 these 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. It's exactly halfway between 100 and 120. And thus, it's going to give us 110 degrees. 110 degrees west. Don't forget to put the comma. People, that is how easy it is. If you don't understand it, play the video again. I'm sure you'll get it. People, if you understand these things, you'll get bonus marks. Thanks once again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be more videos coming your way. And uh, you never know, like I said, it could be a lifesaver before the next test or exam.